Hi guys, I thought I'd put together a quick video just to let you know we've got a brand new patch release ready for Market Bar XP version 8.7.2. We've got some new features that we've added, some updates to the UI, some bug fixes. I hope you're going to enjoy what we've done, so let's dive in and take a look. The first change is a change to how we represent the projects on the main page. We still have the project image, which you'll click on to open up a project, but we've added some additional information to the project data underneath each individual item. So we still got the name of the project and the date that the project was installed, but now what we've added is the date when the project was last edited. So if you're working on maybe multiple projects in a single day, you'll see when, which project you've worked on last. And we've also added a, a progress bar at the bottom which shows you how many stitches have been marked off, how many stitches are to do, and your current progress for that particular chart. So you hopefully can see now at a glance where you are with all your different projects in one go. If you reach 100%, we highlight that progress in green and we put a green border around the project. And again, this is just to help you recognize very quickly when projects have been added. We've also added a pink star, so I've just added this project in today. So any new projects that you choose to add, the project will always be added at the start of the list and it will get a pink star just to say this has been newly added today. And you can see it's newly added and it's saying here open to update the project. So once this project has been opened, so if we just click this to open up this project and have a quick look at it and then Without doing anything else, if we close that down, that will then update the stats and we can see, yes, it's been updated. This was the last time we've updated it. And here is the is a 0% done. But this will always stay at this position until it reaches 12 o'clock on the day that you've added it. Then the pink star will disappear and the project will just go into the normal list of all your other projects. What we've also added uh, or updated on the page is we've just changed the categories. We've just tried to tidy that up. And if you notice in the top right hand corner here, we've got a, a little help icon. And if we click on that icon, we've now put additional help um, to just sort of guide newer users around the, the, the use of the app and what's potentially possible. But if you double tab on the category, you can change its name. So here, for example, if we take kitted and we double tap on that, we can now change that. So maybe, I don't know, maybe you've got a, a sal or something that you are working on and you can say save. That will now change the name of that particular category. If, you don't, if you're not happy with that category name or you want to put it back to what you, what you would like, you can hit the reset button and that will just change that back. So the next change that we have is updates to the app config form. So in the app config form, the two main changes at the top of the form are that we now have the ability to join our community. We find that on Facebook, we can put the posts on Facebook, but not all of our users are on Facebook. Or when posts do go out on Facebook, they're not released to all users. So if you want to be kept up to date with the latest updates and anything new that might be coming out with Mark Bar XP, enter your name and email into the list and we'll be sure to keep you notified of any updates that we have coming. The main changes that we have are in the settings and we've added a little bit more structure around the settings now. So what we have is the settings are now split up into three main areas. There's the main settings, the project default settings and the other settings that are just general that we wanted to include. So the main settings, these are just how uh, the app looks and how it feels and not specific to any individual project that kind of apply overall. So the first change, you can click anywhere on this list here is, and you can press it again to close it. Uh, so here we have our project sort order. So here are our projects and we can choose now how we would like them sorted. Um, the little help button, and this applies to all of, of the settings here, is if you click on that help button, it just gives you a little bit more information about what's in that particular section. So let's have a look. You can sort by the date that the project was added, the name of the project, when it was last accessed, how many marked stitches, what are the total number of stitches, and what percentage complete are you? Any new projects that you've added will always remain at the start of the list. 
Okay, application settings. Some people might not know what these things do. So we put individual helps next to all of these settings. Again, I'm not going to go through all of them in this video, but have a read of them and if you're not sure what they are. The import quality. This is whether we choose standard or extra mode. Now on this one, we give an idea of what standard and extra mode is, but we've also included a link to a video. The next section is your project defaults. So we've now grouped this all together. This was kind of scattered out over the app config. So we have grid display settings, symbol settings, any color settings, your markup settings like markup opacity and any stitching settings. So you'll be familiar with all these. All, we're, all we've really done is just reorganized where things are located. But we've added all of these help files. So you can see here why we don't just turn the grid off if you did want to disable that option. These uh, relate to some of the questions that I get on the forum and what I've asked. So I've tried to incorporate that help directly into the app. And at the very bottom, you can see now that the latest version is 872, ends in 872. So that is an update to our config. I hope that's going to make it a lot easier for users to work with. And what we have at the very top is we can collapse all. If you're interested in a particular setting, say, for example, the symbol settings, you can close the form and when you reopen that, or even if you close the app and reopen it, it'll keep those settings open. Okay, so now let's just dive into a project. I'll pick this new one that we've added. You can see there because on last updated date, the project order changed. So one of the changes that we've made is to do with the, the symbol sort order. You can press and hold on a symbol and you can move that symbol. So here, VE, let's put all the there's those symbols together. So we've reorganized the symbols. Maybe you want them in a particular order. That, that's current functionality that's in the, in the app. But then what you might want to do is you might want to click on the name. And when you click on the name in the header, you can see that the, the symbols are sorted in ascending order. You can then click it again to sort them in descending order. But the problem is I've reorganized my symbols, but I can't get back to that. Well, now what we've done, if you click a third time on the header, it just removes the sort order and puts those symbols back into the custom order that you want your symbols in. What we've also done is we have updated our uh, percentage completes anywhere where there's a percentage complete along those lines. We've added it to two decimal places. Right. What else have we got on the list? We've also updated the project settings. So the project information is exactly as it was before. Again, everything has got help on it now. So you've got a little bit more information about what things mean. The project setup, this is using a just grid and rescan symbols. Then what we have is our main settings. And these are the same as the project default settings. We have our grid display settings, our symbol settings, color settings. Uh, we have our markup settings. And this includes using the same color markup uh, for all markup on the chart. It also includes the new the markup functions. So here where we can mark up all stitches or all symbol cells, we've now added in the option to clear all symbol cells. So if you choose the markup symbol cells here, would you like to mark up all symbol cells on the page? Yes, please. So they're now all marked up to clear all those symbol cells. Click on the clear symbol cells. Are you sure you want to clear these? Yes, please. And that will just clear them down. What we've also done is increased the row and column numbers around the margin. Some users had reported that these were a little bit small. Additional features, we've added uh, uh, the Italian language now to the app. We've put a fix in. So when you set your stitching settings and you set your daily stitch count, some users were reporting that the, the stitch count was being carried over to the next day. I'm hoping that that is now fixed and resolved. And in addition, um, we've also updated the project loading code. So if you do now have access to a Mac device with an M1 or M2 chip and you can load Mark Bar, you should now be able to open projects on your Mac and you should be able to use Mark Bar XP on your Mac devices, should you wish. And that concludes really um, the updates for the new patch release 872. Uh, we're continuing the work on the app. We've got more things in the pipeline, more things coming. 
uh, and we'll keep you informed when they're ready. Thanks very much for watching.